B five fo fum. The way I tried fo the first time, it was really dumb. Yep, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what the hell this is because it doesn't look like nothing that I ordered. All right, y'all, I don't know what the hell I just done. I'm just gonna just tell y'all how it tastes. This looks like a legit brain right here. This is just something that I would not order again. Mm. Mm -mm. So I took the initiative to try fo again, but not only that, I'll be trying not one, two, three, but four different foes. Or is it pho? Okay, Google. How do you pronounce pho? That's pronounced pho. It is pho. You mean tell me I've been pronouncing this wrong the whole time? I'll be trying four different phos from the same place I tried it from last time. Yeah! I just can't remember what the place is called. Pho Hien Vuong. Pho Hien Vuong. That's what we'll be trying today. And let's, let's get into it. Yep, first on the list, ladies and gentlemen, we have what it seems to be the chicken pho. I had pho about a couple months ago. Didn't turn out good, that's why I'm trying it out today. But this pho looks okay. I mean, you know, it, it, it has chicken, looks like noodles and scallions and onions. So let's just try it. Oh yeah. Mmm. Not bad, I ain't gonna lie, but this ain't bad. So if you're a person that's trying pho for the first time, I think you should probably try the chicken pho. Reason being is because there's not a lot going on. We got a jalapeno pepper right here. Oh, we got some noodles, we got some onions, and we got some chicken. It is basic as hell, y'all, you know what I'm saying? When you bite into the chicken, I'm not sure how they cooked it or what they cooked it with, but the chicken releases some, a very strong taste when you bite into it. Not sure what they did, but that they, they 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 did a damn good job. These aren't your typical noodles either. These are white noodles. These ain't ramen noodles, okay? Like you get from the store, all right? These are white noodles. And I think they, I can't say they changed the game because they probably been doing this for a long time. I mean, this, I'm new to all this, but I like the whole white noodle concept. If I had to rate this on a scale from one to 10, I would probably give this about an eight. I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. I'm gonna smash this. Mm. So you remember the last dish of pho we had and I said, hey, look, you should get this. It's your first time. It's not a lot going on. You would love this. Remember that? Yeah, see, this right here is the exact opposite. We have the vegetable tofu pho. And this right here consists of a lot of stuff. Allow me. We got carrots. We got jalapeno. We got broccoli. We got onions, we got tofu, we got mushrooms, and it looks like we have, what's this, a cucumber? Oh no, that's zucchini. We got zucchini in the building, all right? And we got some lemon right here. And this came out to a whopping $12.95, which is a great price. Like I said, again, this is a big bowl and it filled my bowl up at least halfway. Oh yeah, I got a little bit of everything right here, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh man. This is shite right here. So before I go any further, I think this right here is worth noting. If you're trying pho for the first time and you're looking for just this barrage of just taste and flavors, you might not get that. Basically pho is a bunch of ingredients in broth from what I'm gathering right now. And with this particular dish, I like it, you know what I'm saying? If I was on a nice diet, this right here is something I would get. If you're on a diet, this is something you should get. This, of course, consists of the broth, and it's a whole lot of veggies up in here, all right? I mean, and it's a lot. The mushrooms is my favorite, personally. We got the big cube of tofu right here, which is just amazing. I forgot to add, ladies and gentlemen, there is corn in here as well. There's these little small pieces of, of corn in here, which is just, Spectacular! Of course, again, we have the white noodles that's bringing everything together. The broth that's just sitting at the bottom, just soaking everything. I'm gonna tell you, when you try this, you're going to like it. You have no other choice but to like it. And what I did was, I added some jalapenos in there, obviously. I think for most of you guys, the jalapenos is enough. Th that really, it started, it started fucking my throat, you know what I'm saying? But it was a, it was a good fuck, all right? If I am rating this dish on a scale from one to 10, I gotta get us a nine, cause I'm, I'm just, I'm just fascinated, I'm intrigued. And at $12.95, 
this place gave me a lot. Moving on to the next one. Figured I'd mix up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Get a little bit of shrimp, get a little bit of pork, and what do you have? Shrimp and pork, pho. Or, this, or is this called noodle soup? I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure. In this here bowl, we have jumbo shrimp, we have barbecue pork, we have chicken broth, we have fried onions, and we have some freaking jalapenos, okay? Yes, jalapenos. For a whopping $12.95. Look at that, America. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to peel the shrimp. If you like pork and shrimp, you're gonna like this, okay? This isn't just any type of pork, all right? This right here is barbecue pork. And it doesn't necessarily taste like barbecue pork, but what I like about it is that the pork is, look, look, look. It's just super damn tender, right? And it's red on the edges. It's a little light brown in the inside. You got the jumbo shrimp right here. I love the jumbo shrimp. It's most definitely jumbo, but uh, it seems like whoever cooked this uh, did not peel this, which, I mean, I know that's for me to do, but it would be nice if you guys would have peeled it. I mean, it helped me out a little bit. I'm not really sure why they chose to throw in the lemon, but let's, let's, let's see if the lemon gives it any more type of flavor. A little bit of a zesty flavor. Not that, I mean, not that it really makes it any different, but I can see how someone would definitely put the lemon on there for sure. If I'm rating this, you know, from one to 10, I gotta give this an eight. I mean, it's only right. Woo, I'm calling it right now. It's right here about to be my favorite, baby. This is the special beef and seafood pho. Take this for last because I feel like this is going to be my favorite. We got, we got some slightly rare steak right here. We got the shrimp. We have jalapenos, we have lemon, we have meatballs, we have, I think there are scallops in here somewhere. Let's see here. Oh, yep, there are scallops in here. I'm not really sure what this is right here. I'm not really. Not sure. It's chewy as hell though. All this right here costs $15.95. So I looked at my bag and it gave me some sriracha sauce and they gave me some looks like this is lakuma key hoisin sauce i have never in my life tried hoisin i don't even know what the hell that is but we're gonna put both these sauces in this bowl right here and we're gonna and we're gonna try to see we want to see how it tastes because i you know I, I i don't i haven't added sriracha whoa <coughs> oh Why me? Let me start by saying with the sriracha and the lakuma key hoisin, great combination. It definitely made this bowl <laughs> spicy as hell. My throat right now feels like somebody has a torch up to it telling me to dance. The hoisin was, 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 it was okay. I mean, I really can't tell you how it tastes because it really doesn't have that strong definitive taste. It does taste a lot like soy sauce though. It's like a really nice thick soy sauce. Wouldn't be surprised if it has a little bit of soy bean in there with some other maybe sweet potatoes or some other type of veggie mixed in with that. You feel what I'm saying? I wouldn't be surprised, but it does taste a little, it does taste healthy and it tastes a lot like soybean. If you get the seafood foot, you'll be in for a treat, all right? It had the meatballs, of course, the cal. Oh, and that little piece that I had that I was chewing on, I didn't know what the hell it was, that was actually calamari. Everything in this bowl came together for a nice mouth watering taste right now i'm telling you right now it's a lot of meat all right so if you don't like a lot of meat in your mouth if you're not used to a lot of meat in your mouth if you can't swallow that okay all right this is just this is just getting out of hand if you're not used to eating a lot of meat you might not like this but i'll tell you what if you like the combination of meat and seafood 
in just this big bowl. You got the white noodles, of course, right here. You got the jalapenos to make it a little bit spicy. And you have the lemon. You have the freaking, uh, you got the freaking meatballs and the rare steak. If you like all that together, I guarantee you, you will like this. So now it's time to rate the fuzz. I'm going to be honest with you, this is going to be fucked up. There is obviously a tie between first place, okay? We got the seafood pho, which was just amazing. You had my meatballs in there, my rare steak, my scallops, my freaking calamari and all that. But then on the right-hand side, you had the vegetable pho with the tofu, the broccoli, the mushrooms, the carrots, everything I like, right? But if I had to give it first place to one of those, I'm probably have to give it to the seafood pho because I just love my meat. I love all the meat that came with the seafood pho and it was just downright amazing. Second place goes to the vegetable tofu. Third place goes to the chicken. And fourth, no, 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 no. Third place goes to the shrimp and pork. Fourth place goes to the chicken pho. So yeah, we had a pretty good lineup, man. I, you know, I gotta pat myself on the back. Pat myself on the back because I did a daggone good job. So for the most part, I liked everything about the pho. Pho is a very great thing to try. If you guys want to try something different, if you guys like broth, if you like everything natural, if you don't like anything really fried, pho is probably the right way to go for you. The only thing that I will say is that everything that I had today did not really have any seasoning in it, which that was to be expected the way it was cooked. But, you know, this is something that I love that I'm starting to love that I probably eat this probably every city that I go to now and the only dislike is that I had to add too much seasoning and personally I didn't add a lot of seasoning I had spices already there I had my jalapenos I had my this 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 whatever this chili stuff is so that enhanced the flavor and gave it a little bit of spiciness to it but that's the only thing I didn't like but uh yeah for the most part everything was just A1 baby Is a pig's pork? I mean, <laughs> fuck. I would definitely recommend pho to you guys. And if you guys know of anything that I need to try pho related or any type of fuzz that I've missed out on, please drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear from it and I would love to one day try it because daggone it, I feel like I'm a fucking king. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching my video that I launched maybe about a few weeks ago on pho. You guys told me that I was eating it wrong, so I came here at home, tried it again, and you guys are right. Pho is the shite, all right? Thank y'all for tuning in. I love y'all. Keep following me, and I'm a holla!